Um, and this is another news update. You know, the whole Wine Finlucci thing is crazy. So I'm going to give a lot of y'all backstory. This article is featured on Hot New Hip Hop. Now, this is Wine Finlucci's murder charges, and this is everything that we know so far. Now, Wine Finlucci has surrendered to the police on murder and gang charges on Wednesday night. Atlanta rapper Wine Finlucci, known for his hit Every Day We Lit, Wet, She Got It, turned himself into the police. He's currently facing a murder charge in addition to other violent charges in connection to a shooting that occurred in Atlanta on December 10th. We don't know yet the details surrounding the Lucci alleged role in the shooting, but here's everything we know um, about the evolved um, situation that's public knowledge. We'll update you on the Rat Palette for more details as things arrive. The crimes. Around 5.20 on the night of December 10th, 2020 Atlanta police officers were asked to respond to an incident on People Street that was described as serious shooting. In the 911 call, a woman requested an ambulance, saying that she saw a man cling to a white SUV before um, shoved out to, into the streets. The witness described the state of the victim to the 911 operator, explaining that he had suffered a gunshot wound to the head and that she believed that he was dying in front of her. When officers arrived on the scene, they found a 28-year-old man, James Adam, lying on the street with a gunshot wound to the head. Atlanta Fire and Rescue attempted to give medical aid to Adams at the scene, but he later took him to the hospital where he died from his injuries. During this time, a second gunshot victim showed up to Atlanta Fire Station on Lee Street, which was not far from the scene of the original crime. The second victim, identified as 32-year-old Kevin White, was conscious but refused to answer any questions about what happened to him. Authorities believe the two shootings are related. The police later named a third suspect in connection with the murder, one of them being Ryan Finlucci. The other two suspects are Ravon Boyd, Leroy Pitts, always a Leroy in it, <laughs> were caught shortly after the shooting, but Lucci remained hidden from the police until January 13th. Shortly after the shooting, Boyd, 23, and Pitt, 17, went to South Florida to evade police custody, were eventually found by a Miami-Dade Police Department. Boyd and Pitts both faced charges to, that are similar to wife and Lucci's, included felony murder, aggravated assault, participation in criminal street gang activity, possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony, in possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, turning himself in. On Tuesday, January 11, Atlanta police released a statement saying that they were looking for um, public assistance in finding the 29-year-old Rashawn Bennett, popularly known as YFN Lucci. The statement, Atlanta Police Department Captain Jason Smith details that the charges against Bennett were included felony murder, aggravated assault, Participation in street gang activity. Participation in street gang activity. Hold that. Hold that word. In the possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony. A $5,000 reward was offered for Bennett's arrest and an indictment encouraging the public to reach out with any information that might have on his whereabouts. Two days later, on Wednesday, January 13th at 4.39 p.m., Ryan Pellucci took the Twitter to promote the release of a new video after person the video. Lucci Twitter mentions were flooded with users asking about their arrest warrant and commenting things like, they looking for you, and my man's out here tweeting like he ain't wanted from a whole felony murder job. <laughs> that is crazy. Late Wednesday night, only a few hours after dropping a new video, Ryan Pellucci reported turned himself into Atlanta police connection to the murder. Bennett is currently being held in Fulton County Jail until further notice, and any attempts to reach Lucci or his label directly have been unsuccessful so far. His attorney, Thomas Reynolds, had no comment, saying that the presumption of his innocence is a fundamental constitution right for every citizen. Beyond this, we have no further comment at this time. Wife and Lucci. I wish you the best, brother.
and hope you get out of this. Like and subscribe and share the video.